Anyone else from the 82nd get their feet wet? You don't know the colonel like I do, Sergeant. You doing dirt? You go behind his back. He's gonna catch you in your sleep with a choke wire and they're not gonna find your body. You and Chavez had a disagreement. What the fuck is this all about, Charlie? It's classified. I ain't gonna pry it out of you. Well, why don't you and I just leave it a little mystery and that way neither one of us regret our little chat. You know, they're gonna give me a nine milli pretty soon, Sergeant. Where's your M4 at? It's in the tent. Briggs got it. Can I take a look at it? You so much as rest my name on the colonel's ear, I'm gonna find out about it. You best believe that. I will look you up. I will knock on your door and I will be as mad as a hornet. I will be hot. Careful with that weapon, Charlie. You know where I stand on these matters and that's all there is to it. From now on, you and me can be as friendly as a haji. Unless it's a small person performing on stilts. Desi Arnaz was not a dwarf. He's the guy who played Ricky, right? Yes, my God, how have you grown up not ever having seen I Love Lucy? Well, now that show was made long before I was even born. But it has not been off the air in 50 years. Were you raised in an igloo? Everybody has seen I Love Lucy at least once. Well, I didn't. Besides, we didn't have a TV when I was growing up. We had a puppet theater. Excuse me? Instead of a TV, we had a puppet theater. Our parents wanted us to use our imaginations. Did you ever imagine being smart? Ha <laughs> ha! We were very clever, actually. We'd make up characters and stories, and the whole family would put on fabulous shows. Were your parents gypsies? No. They were Buddhists. You really are something, aren't you? I can tell by your tone that you're making fun of me. I can tell by yours, you don't quite get how. Uh, where's the rest of the contract? Hi, baby. <laughs> You're too bad to go to dinner. I'll take you down right here. The contract? Gene's working on it, baby. It's gonna be a couple days. Come on. Yeah, come on, honey. Gene ain't doing shit for you. Twelve grand? That man owes you his life. All right, let's go. Can you grab Izzy? Oh my God, I cannot talk to you when all you want to be is a grown-ass child. What's that supposed to mean? It means that my husband spends more time slanging than trying to be a professional boxer. Turn you go get in the fucking car. What the hell am I doing in this ghetto ass situation? Fuck, you're not, all right? Why don't you give me back the credit cards and the keys to the Ranger on your way out the door? 